And there's Richard trying to act like he's not here. Wave, Richard. That's Richard McGarry. He totally rocks. I'll check in with you later. I'm going to follow Mr. Star Trek Sounds here. Sounds good. Okay. All right, so what are we doing with this thing now? You're checking for water and heat or just water? For water intrusion problems. And how do you, don't get so close to me because now I just have your head. Okay. So what, <laughs> so water intrusion problems, what, so how do you find it with that? Well, basically the camera sees hot and cold. Okay. And I'll show you an example. Okay. Of how sensitive it is. Okay. If you can see the screen, you can see my handprint where I just touched the wall. Oh, that is so cool. No way. So basically, it sees very minute changes in temperature. Okay. And the theory is that if you've got a plumbing leak inside a wall or a roof leak that isn't appearing on the drywall, uh -huh. the camera sees the coolness of the evaporation from the water. Okay. And then you could tell if that's where the leak is or that's where it went to. You can, can you identify... Well, it's like where it the started. Moisture. Okay. So um, a lot of times with roof leaks, it leaks over here and it ends up on the ceiling over here. Right. But it gives us a jumping off. Okay. Place. So if it shows the leak over there, shows will it the show? But will the moisture will it show it like traveling as well? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Also, um, we can see missing and damaged insulation with it okay. and leaking AC ducts. Okay. Because they tend to cool or heat up the ceiling where they're leaking. Okay. We can also see your wall framing with it, so I can check how the house is built. And it's also good for EFIS and stuff, right? Can you mm -hmm. tell what the... Absolutely. Right. Okay. Because that before 90, was before 94 mm -hmm. with the EFIS issues. Right. So you can kind of check the wall and stuff, right? Yep. Absolutely. Now, when the, now, I remember there's a certain time of day that you should check it for the outside, for the Well, EFIS. you know, roofs you want to, if you're, if you're doing a roof inspection with it, mm -hmm. um, you want to do it probably around sunset. I don't usually use this camera on the outside of the house mm -hmm. because the outside of the house because of cast light can get very confusing mm -hmm. part of the wall can be very hot and part of it can be very cool mm -hmm. so i tend to to use it inside the house okay cool although we did use it outside the house on my the house, house the first house we're, <laughs> we're collecting houses now okay